I have some flour with me and I'll keep this empty glass bottle on top of it. Now I've kept it on top of it and now when I remove it, I hope you can see that it has left a mark and there is there is some depth to this mark. Now I will take a water bottle full of water and again I'll keep it on top of the flour. And now when I when I remove the bottle, you will see that there is still again there is a mark that is left by the water bottle and there is a depth to this. If we compare which case left more depth with its mark, we can see that this much depth was there when there was no water in the bottle and this much was there when there was water in the bottle. And we can clearly see that the depth is more in the second case when there was water in the water bottle. So if you want to explain this using the word pressure, force and area, we can say that in both the cases, the area, the contact area between the flower and the bottle was same, but the force was different, right? The force was less when the bottle was empty. So there was some pressure that was exerted on the flower, but the force was more when the bottle was full of water. So that means there was more pressure in the second case. And that's why we see a greater depth in the mark that the water bottle left.